वट इज गोइंग ऑन गाइज वेलकम बैक टू एनदर वीडियो ऑफ चैट एप्लीकेशन डेवलपमेंट सीरीज इन एंड्रॉइड स्टूडियो इन लास्ट वीडियो वी क्रिएटेड द न्यू प्रोजेक्ट इम्प्लीमेंटेड द थीम कलर एंड ऑल्सो डिजाइन दिस ब्यूटिफुल स्प्लैश स्क्रीन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट द लॉग इन स्क्रीन सो दैट वी कैन टेक फोन नंबर फ्रॉम द यूजर एंड गो टू नेक्स्ट स्क्रीन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड वी कैन क्लोज ऑल दिस and first we will create a new activity so go to package new activity empty activity this will be our login phone number activity click on finish now let's go to activity login phone number dot xml click on split over here now we will design the login screen so first thing we will do is remove this constant layout and make it as a linear layout because we need everything in vertical we will make the orientation vertical now let's start adding the items so in login we will have three things first we'll take the phone number second we'll take the otp third we'll take the username so we have three steps so i will design one layout over here so that we will get to know which step we are in so let's make a linear layout width will be match parent height will be wrap content and inside this linear layout we will make a relative layout width we will give about 32 dp height will be 32 dp and inside this relative layout we will add a text view wrap content wrap content text will be 1 that will be step 1 as you can see over here it is visible now i will add a background to this relative layout so what we will do is we will make a circle around one and set that circle as a background so to create the circle let's go to drawable new drawable resource file file name will be circular background and root element will be shape click on okay so for circular background we don't have to do anything just we have to make a shape as oval so it will give circle to us close this and make this relative layout background as circular background so you can't see over here so i will make the background tint as my primary now you can see circle over here so we'll make this one as center true text color we will give a uh, white we can increase the text size also 18 sp let's give margin to this relative layout about 10 dp that's it our relative layout is done so we need three steps this is one step so we need three layout like this i'll copy this layout paste it below the relative layout but it will be inside the linear layout so i'll paste it one time i'll paste it another time we have three layout i'll make third one three and second one as two so one two three we have so let's center it gravity will be center so our three step indicator is done we can minimize this linear layout and below this we will add one image view so image view will be width will be 150 dp height will be 150 dp source will be we have not created the image so let's go to drawable new a vector asset click on clip art i will add some phone so this phone android i will take it okay change the name to phone icon size 200 dp finish i'll give this source as phone icon so as you can see icon over here i will give the tint as my primary so you have to make it app tint so let's make this linear layout as gravity center so that it will come to center yeah So after this image view I need one text view that will be enter mobile number so text view match parent wrap content text will be enter mobile number gravity will be center vertical letter spacing I will give about 0.8 08 text style will be bold and text size will be 25 sp so in this way we will have enter mobile number text below this we will create a linear layout so that we can have country code and the mobile number so let's first make a linear layout width will be match parent height will be wrap content and inside this linear layout i will add a country code and mobile number so first we will add a mobile number edit text so edit text width will be match parent height will be wrap content so we will add padding about 10 dp hint will be mobile input type will be phone we will give some margin about 10 dp and we will add some beautiful rounded background to this so this is not looking nice so we want to create a rounded background like we have created circular one so we'll go to drawable new drawable resource file we'll name it as edit text rounded corner root element will be shape 
click on okay so in shape what we will give is shape will be rectangle and we will give some stroke width will be 1 dp and color will be white so that we have this white color and we will give corner radius 10 dp so that it will be rounded corner and we will give color as solid android color will be white so color will be white let's go to phone number xml and make this background as edit text rounded corner so we'll add some elevation 5 dp it will look like this one while taking the mobile number from the user we have to take the country code also so for that i will use one library we'll go to google so here i will see country code picker android so we have this ccp library we can go to this and you can check the documentation so like this we want to take the country code I will copy this dependency from here, copy, go to our project, gradle, build at gradle, you can paste it over here. Now instead of this xyz, we can give the version number, right now it is 2.5.0. Click on sync now, you can close this now. Now we can use country code picker. So before this edit text, I will add country code picker width will be wrap content height will be wrap content orientation will be horizontal so our layout is gone sometimes it happens like this let's restart android studio invalidate cache and restart as you can see after restarting we can see country code over here if if same thing happens to you you can click on file invalid cache and restart so this will solve your problem so here we can see our country code picker uh, we will center this layout linear layout gravity will be center center now it is looking good we can remove this flag and this country name also we have property like so flag will be false it will remove the flag and also so name code will be false so that we have only the country code so country code is also done now we will add a button over here so that we can click on that button and move to next screen now after this linear layout I will create one more linear layout width will be match parent height will be about 100 dp so inside this linear layout I will add button I will set it gravity to center vertical and orientation will be vertical so here I will put a button width will be match parent height will be wrap content text will be send OTP and we have this button I want this button also as a rounded corner but it will be more rounded so I will go to drawable new drawable resource file I will make button a rounded corner make the root element as shape so I'll copy from that edit text one paste it over here and make the radius to 40 dp so we have more rounded so let's go to button and set the background as button rounded corner so as you can see it has more radius now i will add a progress button so that when we are in progress we can show that progress bar width will be 32 dp height will be wrap content so here is our progress bar i will set indeterminate tint as my primary uh, layout gravity will be center so that's it now as you can see we have to add some space over here it is not looking nice it is looking congested so first thing we will do is in this linear layout we will set a margin as 20 dp so that it will give margin from all the sides so i'll give some weight sum to this linear layout so that we can distribute the weight to all the linear layouts so first it will be weight sum i will give around 100 so that we can calculate in percentage for this linear layout i will give layout weight as 10 percent or 20 percent for this image view i will give layout weight as also 20 percent for this text view i will give layout weight as 5 percent and for this linear layout i will give about 5 percent and for last this linear layout i will give weight about 20 percent so last thing what i will do is so last thing what i will do is this login screen is first step so we will only highlight the one number and two and three will be disabled so let's go to this this two layout second layout and set the background tint of this to light gray 
so it will look like disabled and for this three also it will be light gray since we are in first step now let's run it and test it how it is looking in our mobile application since our first activity is splash activity it will not move to another activity so in splash activity we will write some code so that it will go to this phone number activity after some second so here i will make a handler dot post delayed so inside this we have to pass runnable method and delay millisecond so new runnable and after this curly braces i will pass the milliseconds that will be about three seconds so inside this run method what we will do is we will move the screen to login activity so start activity new intent splash activity dot this from splash activity we are going to login phone number activity dot class and we will finish this activity after the login screen is loaded so let's run it and test it now splash screen for three seconds and now we are in login screen so it is working as expected we can check this country code also we can change the country code to any country and we have this mobile number input over here so that's all for this video in next video we will design the second step that will be our otp screen and third step that will be our username screen so thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you see you in the next video Bye bye